This video is made for educational purposes only. I don't take any responsibility for the damage caused by the replication of this experiment. For making NaCN, we need caustic soda, urea, charcoal, and methanol, which is all easily available. To start things off, I measured out 15 gram of urea, 3 gram of charcoal, and 10 gram of caustic soda, and grinded them all together in a mortar and pestle. Then I transferred all the powdered mix in a steel bowl and heated it with a Bunsen burner. On heating, reaction started and ammonia is evolved. When ammonia stopped evolving, I took a gas torch and heated it to red hot to ensure decomposition of NaCnO with charcoal. Meanwhile, a fire accident was just about to happen due to my carelessness. After the reaction stopped, I was left with this black mass which solidified on cooling. This mass was crushed with a mortar and pestle. Then to the bowl around 60 ml methanol was added. To the powdered mix also, around 30 ml methanol was added. After some time, both the methanol solutions were combined and stirred. Then to it, some baking soda is added to remove any residual NaOH as Na2CO3. To test the presence of Cn- ions, I took a solution of ferrous sulfate and to it, I added the methanolic solution. Immediately, Prussian blue color was formed, confirming the presence of Cn minus ions. NaCn is slightly soluble in methanol, so to extract all the NaCn, I set up a round bottom flask with a pressure equalizing addition funnel, which has been plugged in with some cotton wool. Then I poured all my solution into the addition funnel and rinse the residue with methanol. Then the stopcock was opened and the methanol drained in the brown bottom flask and the residue remained in the addition funnel. Then a condenser was attached on the top of addition funnel and heating was applied. Vapors of methanol goes through the side arm of the addition funnel, gets condensed in the condenser and gets collected in the addition funnel. Then the stopcock is opened to drain the methanol and then closed and then closed. Like this, 7 to 8 cycles were repeated. Then the methanol was distilled off on a water bath and the NaCN was left behind. The final yield of NaCN was 1.5 gram which corresponds to a percentage yield of 12%. The reason for this low yield is that all the NaCN wasn't extracted. The residue still had NaCN which I checked later. I should have run more cycles of extraction to ensure complete extraction.